What's up guys, currently Sunday, August 3rd, in the morning right now, making some breakfast. Gonna go ahead and measure my blood sugar, just to get the day off started. My breakfast is gonna be the typical um, breakfast I told you guys I usually been having lately. The oatmeal, egg whites, and turkey bacon. I'm um, gonna go ahead and cook that up, eat it up, and I have a upper body power day today, so I'm gonna probably hit that around um, an hour to two after I eat, just to let the food digest a bit. So I'll catch you um, after I make this breakfast. Alright guys, what we have here is a typical breakfast, just the egg white salsa, turkey bacon, oatmeal. This is only three packets this time, usually I have like four. Yeah, I love having a big breakfast. If I had four packets, it'll this meal will be like almost 150 grams of carb. But this is like a good 110 right now. And then the coffee. So, I'm probably going to end up going to the gym in about an hour. And this is like almost a thousand calorie meal, around 900 calories. Uh, but just in my personal opinion, I love getting a lot of food in and then hitting the gym. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but leave a comment below if you're the same way. I have to have a lot of energy before I go to the gym, and it doesn't really bother me. It doesn't sit in my stomach. I digest food pretty quickly. I've noticed at least. So I'll, I'll eat this up, and I'll see you guys in my upper body. Getting ready right now for my upper body power day. I'm gonna go ahead, um, go downstairs, probably take a pre-workout, take my creatine. Just like usual, I pretty much do this every time before I hit the gym. But pretty excited, honestly, upper body power is my favorite day to hit. Um, I actually used to love lower body power, but like you guys uh, have heard, I do have the high hamstring tendonitis, and I'm still currently recovering from that. Hopefully in about two to three weeks, it should be completely healed. So for now, I'm going to stick with the upper body days. I'll see you guys at the gym. Or when I take my pre workout As usual, the blood sugar. Gonna measure that before I hit the gym. It is a must. For all you diabetics out there, please make sure you check your blood sugar right before any form of exercise. Not just the gym. I mean, you have to know. If it's if you have low sometimes you have low blood sugar and you don't feel it. And other times uh, it can be a bit high and you might have to take like a unit or two of correction. Because if you're like me and you've had diabetes for going on 15 years now, your, your body's going to be kind of weird sometimes and you're not going to really know what you're feeling. So it's a roller coaster ride, but check it guys, alright? Check it. Alright guys, headed to the gym right now for the upper body power day. Got my pre-workout right here. I know what you're thinking, totally looks like piss, but I can to you, it does not taste like pee. I'm not drinking pee right here. That would be some magical pineapple tasting pee, but anyway. Um, gonna go ahead and wait like five minutes to drink this because we're gonna stop by and get some gas. Uh, I tend to usually take my pre-workout like five minutes before I know I'm about to hit some weights because if I take it at home and it's been like 15 minutes, I just get too jittery and crazy. Whoever takes like C4, you know what I mean, or any pre-workout in fact, it just gets you so jittery if you, if you don't have like a weight or if you're not doing something by five or ten minutes. So it gets you feeling crazy. Just got home guys, got done with my upper body power day, and man, I hit so many PRs. I'm so, so happy. I actually recorded my whole upper body power day, so I'm gonna make that a whole new video. So that'll be up in about two or three days. Be sure to check it out, guys. Like I said, hit a lot of PRs, so I was real happy about today. And, oh, what do we got over there? What do we got over there? What's up, boy? What's up, boy? That dog's saying hi. Anyways, I'm gonna go inside, get a big post-workout meal in, because I'm starving, haven't had anything to eat since breakfast, which was, sorry guys, it's pretty dark in here, but which was around, I'd say, 12 or, no, not 12, like 11 in the morning. So, gonna go ahead and eat up. I'll show you what I'm gonna eat. See ya. Some sausage and mushroom.
Next up, rice and beans. Post-workout insulin. For my food, by the way. The real question is, is Hans Myron? Yeah, he's Myron. So to be honest, I was actually going to go ahead and grab some Chipotle on the way out from the gym because Chipotle is literally on the way back uh, from the gym to my house. It's just like 30 seconds away from the gym. So I was going to go ahead and grab some Chipotle, but not going to lie, what I have over here is, is actually tastes a lot better than Chipotle, believe it or not. I know Chipotle is real good, but let me show you guys what, I, what I'm working here with. Uh, and I've been having this a lot recently. So, this is just um, a chicken sausage, three of them actually, and these chicken sausages, I get them from Costco, and the macros on them are amazing. They, they, they're they very low in fat, a uh, decent amount of protein, and obviously like zero carbs. And then just rice, black beans, salsa, and some secret spices. But I've honestly been having this a lot lately for my post-workout meal. I've been really looking forward to it, and guys, I'm not lying when I say... It tastes just as good as Chipotle, if not better. So, made my own Chipotle. Took about 10 minutes. Gonna go ahead and eat this up. Watch some YouTube. And to be honest, guys, I, I never watch TV. Like, YouTube is my TV. And I know if, if you're like, all the YouTubers are the same way, or if you're like a fitness enthusiast, all you really do is just watch YouTube when you watch, when you, when you, when you want to watch um, TV. So... Just wondering if you guys are the same way, because I honestly, I don't even know why my family pays for TV. I never watch it. So I'm going to go ahead and my, watch my own TV and eat this up. I'm starving. I'll see you later. Alright guys, so I had to stop in the middle of eating and just let you guys know. I'm going to make a quick um, recipe video on this, because it is seriously so good. You have no idea. It, it honestly is better than Chipotle. Look. Sausage, black beans, rice, salsa, that's really all it is, but I'll show you step by step how to make it. It'll be real quick, and I'm definitely going to make it because, trust me, this is such a quick and easy meal, and it is delicious, so I have to share it with you guys. Just uh, stay tuned in the future for a quick video, definitely sometime this week. Just want to throw that out there. <laughs> 